Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to assign event handlers at runtime. If you're new to um, C Sharp, sorry, you'll know the only way to add event handlers in Visual Studio um, be at before runtime is to click on the event that, I mean, sorry, the control you want to add an event handler to, click on the events button here, and then look for the event that you want to add something to. In this case, I'm going to add something to button 2. And I'm doing this at compile time. I mean, before compile time. So, we know what's going on here. So, type in message, message show button 2. And we have an event handler such that when I click on button 2, it will show you a message box saying button 2. Now what if I don't want to do that for button 1? What if I want to um, wait for something to happen before I add the event handler? I could do that. I could just go I'm going to type in the name of the control that we want to add the event handler to then press dot then, they, then type in the event that we're looking for then type in plus equals to and press tab twice and that's what it will do for us and in this event handler we can go message box dot show button one and now when I click on button one I have button it message, message box shows up saying button one. When I click on button two, message box um, pops up saying button two. And another good thing about this is you can take away event handlers at runtime. For example, maybe I only want this to show up only once. So I could do in the event handler for button one, click. We can go button button one dot click minus equals two open brackets, type in the name of the event handler and then the semicolon. Now when I click on button 1, a message box will show up but when I click on it again, nothing will happen. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.